Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Just leaving the gym. You know, it's leg day, so it was a long day today, but I missed the gym this morning with Toby. Cause I was at, I was at this place where they do BMX races, and uh, cause I used to do them when I was like eight years old, and I still have a bunch of my, like I have two of my bikes from when I did that, and. Um, and then a bunch of gear from when I used to do it still. So me and my dad went down there this morning and we were trying to sell it because they had a race. And uh, we donated one helmet and we sold one pair of pants for eight bucks. And that was about it. So, and we went with like a whole truckload of stuff. So it was kind of, it's kind of a bummer. But then we had a sushi burrito, a sushi burrito from food trucks. And that was really good. And a, burger a barbecue burger with two patties we shared it but it had two patties tri-tip and pulled pork and homemade barbecue sauce it was so good it was 11 bucks and it was like a pound of meat and it was really good but anyways listen to at the gym there's this one of the discord members which link in description join the discord this guy is just full of gems bro he, and he uh, posted a Luke Belmart interview that I th I'm pretty sure it was pretty recent. And I don't know, I forgot the name of the uh, podcast but it, or the channel, but it was in the Netherlands and he was just talking about life and stuff. And it was really good. So I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to listen to that. It was a really good podcast. And uh, Luke Belmart has some gems but anyways, he was talking about things like uh, like in life, and I believe this too, but in life, like you can become good at anything you want to become good at or like any, and anything that you focus on, you'll get. So if you focus on making more money, if you focus on making money, then you'll make money. If you focus on having a good network, then you'll have a good network focus on building a business then you'll build the business so you get whatever you focus on in life and put he said effort or no he said time focus and time focus and it might have been effort there was three things that he was talking about that everyone has that if you put into something you'll get what you want out of it if you fully commit those three things and because he's like yeah if people come up to me and they're like Oh, I don't have any money. What am I supposed to do? And he's like, well, you have time, focus, and I think it's effort. And so you have that. You can do anything you want with that. If you put it in the right place, then you can go anywhere you want to go. And I believe that anyone can, like, become anything or be good at anything with the, like, as long as they spend the amount of time on it. Like, I read this book one time called Bounce and it was this world champion ping pong player and he wrote a book and like was read a bunch of studies about people and if you spend 10,000 hours or which is like equivalent to 10 years practicing something like putting your full focus into one thing then you'll be like world class at that one thing in that amount of time and so I thought that was really cool. And then another thing that was like, I wanted to talk about, oh, dude. Motorcycle just ran the stop sign. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, that when I watched the Jordan Peterson podcast on value attainment, I think that was yesterday. He was talking about the education system and like seven things that universities are doing wrong or that they're failing at. And one of the things was like, they're, uh, I forget exactly how he worded it, but they're like manipulating the finances of young adults by selling them the idea of extended, um, adolescence with no responsibility 
and at a price that they can't afford that's going to go like that takes a huge toll on their future earnings and their future just like lifestyle and they're selling this thing and you can't get out of it because you can't declare bankruptcy on a student loan and so they have un uh, like unfair and unfair advantage they're making rules that are like purposely destroying these kids because like or young adults because young adults don't have the capacity the brain capacity to decide on these things yet most people that end up going to college don't even know what they want to do so they end up coming out with a degree that they spent like fifty thousand dollars on at least and they have no idea what they want to do with it. Most of them don't even care to work in that field that they got their degree in. So it's just like, and that's something that I've known for a long time because that's just something that is how it is. And if you're not aware of that, then, then you're probably gonna fall for it. Like, Every single one of the friends that I know will not. Either they're going to college, which is the majority of them, or there's a few, a handful, that are going into the military. Which, personally, I believe is a much better option if you don't know what you want to do with your life than going to college. Because out of the military, get you get a brotherhood you get a network which I mean most people get from college too which is the only upside to going to college in my opinion um, but in the military you get benefits you get paid you get to travel around or you learn a skill and you have connections like they give you an allowance they give you housing, they give you food. But college, you have to pay for all that. Most of the time, if you don't pay for it right then, you have to pay for it later. And it's crazy. Because like, like I was saying earlier, if you spend enough time, I believe that if you spend enough time on anything, that you can eventually be good at anything. And that's like one thing. I struggle with calling myself introverted because even though I am introverted, I know after a long enough time frame from talking to people, eventually, if I put enough time into it and effort and uh, focus, I can become extroverted. I can become more comfortable talking to people. But the thing is, and I mean, this is with everyone, is like, it's so hard to start something and the ideas that you grew up with, that you were raised with, they don't go away. They're like hardwired into your brain. So right now I'm trying, I'm trying. I was gonna say I'm trying so hard, but I'm not trying hard enough, but I'm trying, I'm thinking about it. Like just talking to people, just starting a conversation because for so long, it's just been hard, hardwired in me that just like, you don't talk to people because you don't have anything to say. So I just got to figure out something to say. And it's tough. But I mean, we can do it. And I know I can do it. You can do it. So just focus on one thing. And that's another thing, too, is figuring out what you want to do. And doing these experiences like me moving to California soon. It's not the greatest idea. But if I don't go, I'll never know. And when I get there, I know I want to do sales because you can go anywhere you want in life with that skill. And But I don't know where it will take me. So if I never do it, I'll never know. And it's just something I got to try. And I was trying to explain that to people and they don't understand it. They're like, why? I'm like, this is the road that I chose. And I'm going to try it. And they're just trying to talk me out of it and whatever. I'm going to do it. 
But anyways, as you can see back here, it's super smoky where I am because there's like three fires around me, three big fires, and it's just been super smoky all day. But anyways, I'm home, so I'm going to wrap up the video here. Make sure you join that Discord link in the description. Subscribe, share the video with a friend, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.